Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video. It is a big one. It's a holiday, get ready with me. We are doing skincare. We're doing a full on makeup application, a hair styling, and then the bonus at the very end, oh, you've got to stick around and wait for that. Fully dressed and wait till you see the dress. You might remember it, that's all I got to say. All right, so let's start with skincare. My skin is clean. I'm gonna get my hair off of my face and this way I can bring in my Nira. It is unbelievable for wrinkle reduction. It is the largest, fastest at home laser device to be able to treat wrinkles. It's really been a game changer. The results are incredible. I've been using Nira now, as you well know, at least over a year, if not a year and a half at this point. First up before moisturizer, it is my Nira Pro Laser. This is the largest and fastest at home laser for wrinkle reduction. I have been loving the results that Nira has given me. As we age, we tend to get frustrated with those fine lines and wrinkles that start to come out, especially for women around the eyes and the mouth. Nira works by gently heating and stimulating collagen in the dermis layer of the skin, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles at the source. That's why I love Nira. It is FDA cleared, clinically proven, featured in Forbes, Marie Claire, Town & Country. And if you don't believe me, the before and after images are truly incredible. Take a look at these. Nira is proven to work in just 90 days on areas like your face, hands, chest, and neck. So let me show you how easy this is. You just start with a clean, dry face, pull your hair back. You power on your Nira right there. You just heard it and keep pushing to get to your desired level. I go up all the way to level five and then you take Nira and you just press it against the treatment area. Two beeps means that area has been treated. As long as you feel warmth, the Nira Pro Laser is working. You hear those two beeps, you move to the next area. Again, you can treat your face, your neck, your chest, your hands. The whole treatment session will last five minutes. And then to lock in moisture after your treatment, don't forget Nira's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, which is also a wonderful foundation before we start makeup in just a bit. So now let's talk about the Nira Precision Laser. This one is the only FDA cleared, clinically proven laser to treat those pesky lines underneath the eyes and hooded eyes. Same thing, you just power it on, keep pressing the button to get to your desired level, and then you activate, two clicks, and around you go, even on the orbital bone and above the eyebrow to be able to treat hooded eyes. When you press it against the skin, you'll feel warmth. That means that it's working. You can customize it so that it's not too warm for your skin and can build up to the next level. And then again, once your treatment is done, follow up with the Nira Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And now this goes on after I've treated and I will start my makeup application. The Nira lasers are great if you don't want invasive treatments, injectables, or the pain that comes with it. And the best part is it is a fraction of the cost. Again, no pain, no redness, no downtime, just great results at home. So before I do my face, I hit it with the Nira Pro and the Nira Precision. This is the perfect anti-aging bundle, especially for the holidays. Join me in the 90 day Nira challenge and experience the transformation for yourself. Click the links in the description below and let's age gracefully together, shall we? All right, now on to makeup. Again, with the makeup look, it's always good to get your hair out of your face. And for the particular look that I'm going for, my hair is kind of going to be out of my face anyway. So I'm going to use the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Finishing Paste. It's a medium hold. And this way I can kind of tame my hair in a middle part, which is how I'm going to style it for tonight. This way I can get those little flyaways down. It's already parted. To help the situation, I'm going to take some bobby pins just to keep it from coming forward and anchor it here on the sides. When you do your makeup, it is a great opportunity to get your hair in place or even, you know, put it up in say Velcro rollers if you're going for a more voluminous look. Um, but I always like to take advantage of this time to sort of get my hair doing what it needs to do. First up, primer. I'm using Fenty Beauty Pro Matte Primer. Great base, literally before foundation, minimizing those pores. And since I'm going for a matte finish foundation, obviously I want my primer to have a nice matte finish as well. You definitely want to have a light moisturizer on underneath this because the primer itself does mattify and dry a little bit. So if you tend to be on the dry side, make sure that you hydrate, but nothing too greasy, right? 
especially if you're going for a matte look like I am. Next on the list, Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Actually, I'm between two shades. This is eight, this is 10. So I tend to blend the two, more of my summer color, more of my winter color. And then when I self tan, mwah, in between. Amazing full coverage, matte finish foundation. So I'm gonna do a decent sized pump of the eight and then just a scotch of the 10 whirl them together. I find a little goes a long way with this product. Great coverage. Again, I would say definitely more for a nighttime evening look when you're really looking for that full coverage mattifying finish. I'm just gonna pull it slightly underneath my jaw here, not all the way down yet. I think you can see how nice of a coverage this provides. My eye primer du jour is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have been featuring this one for quite a while. Super, super light. A little goes a long way. Most of my brushes are by Gentry Kelly. I know you're going to ask. So I'm just going to put that out there right now. Links to everything, by the way, in the description portion of this YouTube video. This really cuts all discoloration from the eye, any redness, any anything. You know, as I joke, it's like whitewashing your eyelids, but it's such a great prep for any eyeshadow to come. Onto the brows, NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen in Brunette. Clearly my favorite because I'm still using it. I just love how you can brush in individual hairs. It takes a little while, but it's the most natural and I think impactful looking brow that you can create. Just work within the, the framework of your natural brow. If you need to go a little higher, a little lower, depending on what you're trying to create or especially fullness. Following up with Flower Beauties Fiber Flick. Following up with fa <laughs> say this a hundred times. <laughs> Following up with Flower Beauties Fiber Fix Brow Gel <laughs> in Brunette. <laughs> I think I got it. Okay, I just love having a gel. Hold those little hairs up, and in this case, the color adds just a little bit of warmth to my brows to help match more my root color. My brows are stuck up. Now onto the eyes. Ooh, Charlotte Tilbury. Instant Eye Palette. Smoky eyes are forever. Aren't they just so pretty? I'm gonna start with the shade here in the Power Eyes selection. My eye makeup is going to be strong, but not too strong because the lip is gonna steal the show in this makeup look. So this is more of that taupey brown. And this is the best technique for hooded eyes, oh, by the way. A nice medium color, kind of up high, carving out a new crease. And then I'm going to use the black at the far right to just work on this outer corner and start lifting up. I'm not doing a smoky eye today, more of a cat eye look, really an eye lift. Amazing how just shifting your eyeshadow placement can absolutely change the shape of your eyes. There's a real pretty um, iridescent right here in Love Eyes, right there that I'm gonna use kind of inner corner and just a little bit on my lid. And a blending brush just to soften up top. Now to tight line my lids. I am in love. Ever since I did that Flower Beauty tutorial, the Flower Beauty eyeliner in Onyx, it's a long wear and I'm telling you what, this stuff doesn't budge or smudge. It's amazing. So I just go from underneath, just the upper lash line only. A tiny little flick out right here. Smudges easily, great to apply. Continuing on with Flower Beauty, this is the Dream Warrior Mascara in Black Noir. Love it. They said that it lifts and curls the lashes and boy does it. So a nice strong black and I get a ton of length and lift out of this mascara, which I think is just awesome. Really, really brings your lashes to life. Do you see how this eye makeup look gave a really nice lifted cat eye look? Great way to be able to change the shape of heavy downturned eyes as we age. But I did say this is a holiday party that I'm going to and it is formal. So natural lashes I feel just aren't enough. So I'm adding, bam, these babies. This is Ardell Light as Air Natural Lash, well, at least weightless. <laughs> they don't look very natural, but we'll see. It's number 522, lots of length, but not a very heavy strip. Comes with its own glue too. So the secret to a falsy strip is seeing how they fit on your eyes. Most of them tend to be too wide for my eyes. Just set it on top and 
That way I can see how long it is. And generally I cut from the inside, which is exactly what I'm gonna do in this case. So you just take your little lash and if need be, just remove like a little quarter from the inside and then reposition. Much better. A little glue will do you. You just wait a little bit and then come on in. Super light. Yeah, it feels like nothing's there. And once you get it where you want it, just bind it together. Next up, a liquid eyeliner by Benefit called their Real Extreme Precision Liner. And sometimes I just feel a little bit needs to go in the inner corner when you do a lash strip, just to fill in that area where you cut off some of those lashes. And then just to run right on top of the glue line so that it all blends seamlessly. And now a quick hit of Lumify Eye Drops. And onto the concealer. It's by Typology. It's an anti-wrinkle concealer. Has caffeine in it. Color 2 Light. Whoa, and I just squeezed it from the bottom and a lot just came out. Hold up. This is, I have to say, my favorite concealer of the moment. Has an immediate cooling effect and does not settle into the lines at all. I love this stuff. I feel like I'm getting an eye treatment and concealer at the same time. It's amazing. If you're in the market for a new concealer, I cannot recommend this enough. And it's not, it's great for mature skin. It is not too greasy and not too matte. It just strikes that perfect balance. And most importantly, it covers. Now to set everything, Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I think I have used this since the start of my channel. <laughs> so I just tap in a little bit, not too much in the under eye area. Don't want to go crazy, but just enough to give it a matte finish. And then I will use a, a brush and hit the rest. On to contour, highlight, and blush. I love me my e.l.f. contour palette. Love, love, love. Still my favorite. I'm going to use the darkest color here, bottom right. And nice contour brush. So the trick with a good contour, if you haven't done this before, take a little bit in the brush, take your hand right underneath your cheekbone, just pop it right there. Start with the brush, not here, but up here and follow your finger. Give you the heaviest concentration toward your face and the lightest toward the end of your finger, which would match up to about right here on the outside of your mouth. See, and it gives you just the right contour line just enough, not too low and not too far in. Same on the other side. Hook it right under that bone, angled to the outer corner of the mouth. Start inside and come down. Creates a really nice lifted effect with the contour. And then wherever else you want, I just will slenderize the nose a little, not to overdo it, just a little. Again, this is, this is nighttime, kind of full on glam. Everything will get softened later if the lines look harsh, don't worry. And slenderize the wide jawline. Add a little warmth up to the forehead here. And take your initial powder brush now. And if you need to just soften a line, do it with your powder. Blush. I love Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk. Perfect color for what I'm doing here today. Even has a little bit of a highlight in there, kind of swirl around the outside. You can hit the highlight in the middle. And blush placement literally rides right above where you just did your contour. Again, creates a super lifted effect not too far in because it will make it droop just right above that contour real pretty soft lovely lovely color a little bit of highlighter it is nighttime for that i'm going with chanel illuminator it's a little bit on the gold side so i don't want to go crazy with it but just just a scotch so right here tip of the nose you can even go just a real slender line down the middle highlight right above the eyebrow you can highlight right here under the eye if you feel like you have a lot of crow's feet or, or that's really strong, I would avoid that area. And then right here in the chin, it just calls to attention the center of the face and makes all of those features sort of pop. Okay, this look is based on the lip. It is a lipstick color I have worn in multiple social media posts. And whenever I wear it, you guys are like, what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna tell ya. I'm gonna start with the lip liner first. This is a slow process. Can't mess this up. Lip liner, Urban Decay, Bad Blood. Should give you an indication as to where we're going with this. Super slow, super careful, because it's a red. My trick with the red, really focus on the middle, a nice peak, and then to avoid the clown downturned mouth, 
you cut in and go lower here and connect to the outside. Kind of creates that old Hollywood Cupid's bow look. Same thing, cut in, narrow, and then drop it down. The lipstick that I love, it is the perfect red in my book. Gentry Kelly knocked it out of the park with this one. It's a long wear lip stain. It's called Red Zeppelin. Red Zeppelin, comes with an applicator wand. I will use it. I will then use a lip brush for precision right around the outer part of the lip. So I'll start in the middle and blot and then hit this and fill in the rest. And I'll go right on top of that lip line. Now I know close up, all of this looks very Moulin Rouge, but when you see the whole outfit pulled together, it'll totally make sense. Trust me. So makeup is done. Now it's time to focus on the hair. Okay, flat iron all fired up. My Timo, I love this thing. All right, so here's the deal. You see how some pieces are starting to kick out here? That's actually what I want. I want the rest of it to do that. So we're gonna make it do it. And it's just a slight bend outward because I'm gonna keep my hair sort of slicked back like it is, but I want everything going in the same direction. What's nice about this look is that it's kind of a up-down look in a way. It's down, but yet it's, it's off your face. More of my pomade. Run that through. Makes everything just kind of bind together, be a little more slick. Hairspray is by AG Care Ultra Dynamics Long Lasting Hold. And where I really want that is up here. Now it's all sleek. And I'm glad you stuck with me to the very end because it's time to put on the dress. Okay, do y'all remember the YouTube video when I went to the thrift store and I scored an almost $700 ball gown for $25? This is it! Can you believe? Oh my gosh, it's total insanity. Insanity. My makeup costs more than the dress. I'm so glad I'm going with her. Okay, you know what's awesome about this? What? Not only is this $25, that's Rent the Runway. So we spent exactly 25 and 30. Do the math. $55, sister. I'm telling you, um, I told them we oh, spent sorry, more the on the makeup. Hair piece. Oh, you got the $10 hair piece? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yeah. You still. bought shoes. I well, didn't. <laughs> Want to go have some fun? Yes, let's go. That's what the holidays are all about. Grab your sister, have fun, enjoy yourself, get all dolled up, enjoy the process, and love each other. Anyway, there is your holiday look for winter of 2023, whether you've got a big party or something maybe less fancy, more fancy, I don't know, whatever. I just love playing with hair, makeup, and ball gowns and having a good time and just showing you what I do and seeing if it can be incorporated in what you wanna do for this holiday season. But don't be afraid to try a bold red lip. Don't be afraid to glam it up. Have a good time, whatever you're doing. Enjoy your family, enjoy your parties. Go out, be bold, and be blessed. We'll see you next week.